Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous Marcos Rico Pang is here. And today we're gonna squash the beef. We are fighting! I thought we were swimming. Uh, he told me we were swimming. We might be swimming as well. All right, what's going on everyone? In this video, Marcos Rico and I are squashing the beef. Just kidding, what's going on everyone? Marcos and I are here today and we're gonna be sharing a little bit of our experiences in the swimming world and we're gonna to race today and we're gonna chat a little bit more about what Marcos is going on next. The races we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be doing one of each stroke. 25 back, 25 breast, 25 fly, what? 25 free. What? Oh my God. He, he knows he's gonna beat me. He knows he's gonna beat me. This guy has been swimming. How many days a week are you practicing, Marcos? Uh, sometimes two, sometimes three. Sometimes he practiced this morning. Four. I haven't practiced. I, I did practice this morning. Yeah. He practiced so this I'm morning. I'm tired. I'm tired. He's taking advantage that I'm tired. Oh, I'm tapered. Trying to beat me. I'm yeah. tapered. Okay. Tapered. I want the fans to know a little bit more about Marcos Rico and let them know that we do not have beef. Every, I feel yeah, like you guys are all commenting <laughs> like, oh, Marcos, like Marcos's video is better. Or Marcos already did this video or Kyle already <laughs> did this to Marcos. Like, guys, we're yeah. friends. But uh, we're definitely competitors. I mean, yeah, Marcos. I mean, I mean I'm going to beat you now. So it's, it's let's let's go in and find out. Let's dive right in. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. Taper is an understatement, baby. Marcos is going down. Let the smack talk begin. <laughs> Hashtag bring smack talk back to swimming. <laughs> All right, 25 butterfly. We're just gonna get it rolling. Um, yeah, we're gonna go three, two, one, go. Go on the on one. We're gonna drop down and push on go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he left early. Oh, ultimate. Oh, my God. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> Post interview. Right. This, is this is going to be a long day, baby. Ah, we're not worried. We're not worried. You got to reign confident. The margin of victory is going to be so large here on this 25 backstroke. <laughs> it's not even going to matter. All right. 25 backstroke. No flags. Let's go. All right. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Backstroke oh. of my life. I think I got water on my nose. How do you feel, Kyle? Dave's gonna watch that footage and be like, that's not my backstroke. Right. <laughs> we're we're two races down. Marcos, how you feeling? I'm so tired. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Hey, it's a close one. One one. One one. That's not a good back half. Huh? Hey. Right. Who's gonna win this we're next 25 brush shirt? Marcos for sure. Alright, alright. Three, two, one, go! Like Marcos wanted, we're gonna scrap the last 25 because we're both really old and yep. tired of swimming. No underwater 25, we're just gonna straighten the freestyle one. Swimmers, take the mark. Yep. Close race, close race, close race. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Marcos Ricos. <sighs> All right, so Marcos, we're both yeah. YouTubers. When did you get into YouTube and like, why'd you start YouTube, I guess? So this was like uh, two years ago, probably my freshman year, so, uh, first semester. Okay. Uh, actually going into college, I saw a bunch of these day in the lives of like college athletes and then like, college day in the life stuff. And I was like, you know what? When I go there, I want to make a video too. So I made one, I published it January 2020. And from there, it's uh, it's history. And yeah, it's it's been fun, like us growing together. Yeah. I guess you would say, and like sure. people say that there's beef between us. Yeah. 
I don't know. Talk about it. Talk about it, Marco. Absolutely no beef. Um, you know, before um, when I started my channel, Millis came up to me and was like, you know what? I wanted to do stuff like I went to YouTube too. And I was like, yo, that's dope. Because like, it's always, um, you know, it's always a struggle to be like the only one kind of doing YouTube because you mm -hmm. feel a lot of like, I don't know. I I, I, I mean, love least, meeting other content creators. That's true. That's true. I also feel a lot, like a lot more self-conscious if I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. But having you around, having Colby around as well, just makes me, it makes everything more natural. Mm -hmm. I think we learn it all from each other. Yeah, and yeah. It's just, it's just great, yeah, honestly. No beef at all. No. I really <laughs> like that as well because yeah. also like, I feel like if there wasn't multiple of us doing it, Dave would have even more of a reason to pick on us, yeah, dude. Yeah. But if there's more people, it's <laughs> it's to the point where he like is almost denying three people of like a really cool yeah, hobby. Nah. This has been really fun yeah, for both no, of us. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, but then moving into that, from there, we both got recruited. And the recruiting process is really interesting. And I think a lot of viewers want to hear about the recruiting process from an international perspective because mm -hmm. There's probably different aspects of that. Could you talk yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so basically for us, I mean, obviously the coaches cannot come to see our competitions like they would be able to yeah. see like other recruits and stuff. So basically it's based off of time. So my recruiting process was I sent an email like with introducing myself, my hobbies and my best times. Mm -hmm. Send them to like a million coaches. Yeah. And then um, and then some reached back, some didn't reach back, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, for example, with Cal, yeah. uh, Chase, the assistant coach, um, well, like reached back and then he was like oh yeah we we think you would be a good fit and then we talked over skype to kind of you know get to know each other better yeah uh make sure i'm not like i don't know a weirdo or a psychopath or whatever uh because like normally <laughs> they would go on like recruiting trips and the team would be yeah. like the recruits but obviously that as an international student that sometimes can be hard uh given like you know the distance uh, it's a so, lot to fly out here yeah so uh, skype with the assistant was apparently enough for a coach to say you know what we we want you so. that's awesome What's it like being the Cal Sprint Group? I mean, you're a freestyler. I'm a backstroker. What's it like training with Nathan Adrian next to you? Yeah, no, uh, I mean, my freshman year, I actually had a cl class conflict with um, with our practices in the afternoon. Yeah, so yeah. So I would come back by my, I, I would train by myself. Okay. And then, like after two weeks, Nathan Adrian would just like show up, and it would just be us two oh. by ourselves training. And I was like, I was I over was the made. moon. Yeah, that was like. I, I start every, your freshman year like that. That's like awesome. Freshman year, I was, you know, obviously Nathan Ages, somebody, somebody we look up to yeah. a lot. And I was just like, you know, every time he would push off first, and I would just like go underwater, just watch him the entire way. I would miss my intervals and like whatever. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. One that's, time he said, Hi, Marcos. And I was like, What? You know my name? What? what? <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Could you talk a little like, what was your favorite memory being on the Cal Men's swim team? In terms of like pure athletic performance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that you know that relay in the pack calls. Talk um, to me about it. Yeah, what does it so, feel like to go 18 seconds in a 50 freestyle? <laughs> uh, to be honest, it felt pretty much the same as every other race, but uh, just a bit faster. Um, it was really surreal because going into that, it was like just a bunch of really fast sprinters and on our team mm -hmm. were all fighting for that fourth spot on the yeah, relay. Yeah. And it came down to that B final in the 50 freestyle that that afternoon, just like mm -hmm. a couple like like one hour before the relay and then i was you know i was on the relay yeah yeah and i remember i was like on the block and i think it was um uh dc was uh yeah, swimming in dc was swimming in i was just thinking okay don't fuck it up <laughs> don't jump early because i didn't do a single i wasn't i don't think we're i don't think it's anyone, a close race yeah, too it was a close race i don't think anyone believed I had planned out that I was going to be the fourth person on the relay. I think there was like many options. Yeah. So I didn't really practice the, the like relay, the relay start. starts either. So I was just like, okay, just make sure you don't jump early. You know, I jumped in. I was like, okay, I think that's pretty good. And I just like, raised, I put my head down. I was just like, you know, touched. So I saw the time. I saw we came Ooh. first first. And then I saw 18 nine. I was like, you know, it was super. I think nice. you can like see a double take in your reaction too. Yeah. You're like, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. And then I saw you guys sharing the fans. It was definitely like yeah it was a really cool moment never forget no, i'll never forget that yeah any big youtube plans coming up for you what what are fans gonna like why should fans go click over right now to marcos's channel what's <laughs> going on in the channel coming up uh definitely subscribe to my channel because otherwise you'll be missing out on all the good <laughs> stuff <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys had a great time watching marcos kick my butt <laughs> and learning a little bit more about who he is as always, make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel, guys. He makes super cool swimming related and pretty much everything related content these days. We're doing a giveaway, giveaway. all right. <laughs> We're doing a giveaway. Whoever has the top comment down below, most liked, and is following me on Instagram, 
we'll be doing a week from today, I'll be giving out a cow swimming cap. So whoever has a top comment down below, make sure to throw up a bunch of thumbs up. You'll be getting a cow men's swimming cap. Yeah, not anyone can get that cap. Only cow swimmers can get that cap. That's right. That's right, baby. Yeah. Anyway, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe over to Marcos. And until next time, go Bears. Go Bears.